Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of A Truck Driver Plays American Truck Simulator. So, guys, what's going on out there? How y'all doing, man? I hope y'all having a good new year. So, and as you can see for the new year, I, I swapped trucks again. I actually, uh, I seen this one on one of the mod sites. I was like, you know what? Hey, let's, let's try out the Ford. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's give the Ford a try. So, we have the Ford... Uh, 9000 LT or LT 9000 it's that name I just don't know which order the name goes in so and uh also this this episode guys I am working on a cargo mod that I am testing right now in this episode so I got the idea for the mod was hey because the thing is like when I'm recording and I have a Walmart trailer right because I decided to roll with Walmart I kind of I kind of wanted to do you know things that make sense so I should only be uh delivering to Walmart uh stores and warehouses right because generally if you if you're driving for a grocery chain like that that's what you're going to do you're going to deliver to the stores and you're going to pick up freight to bring back to the warehouse so uh I made a new mod it's called uh Walmart dedicated where you will have more options to either uh, pick up freight and deliver it to the Walmart warehouses or, uh, you know, take take the merchandise from the warehouse to the actual store. So I am testing it out right now. Um, like I said, I still got a, lo a lot of work to do to it. I just wanted to see if I could get it working. And it's uh, it's working pretty good. Um, like I said, uh, last night, you know. When I finished it, I put it in the game and, you know, I checked the freight market. I just wanted to see if it was working. It was working. So now I'm actually going to pull the freight for that. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's get on our trip. I think today we are in Charlotte right now. Now, um, there is an episode that's coming out before this one, because like I said, I, I I kind of do everything in advance, so uh, this week's episode is the uh, but the episode that just came out. Uh, I f I don't know. I gotta look at it, but I know it's the one. Uh, the the screenshot and the screenshot looks kind of dark. Is where I kind of like slid in a ditch and I'm holding up traffic. Yeah. So it's that episode. Then there's another episode coming out after this one. Now the thing, or it might come out because I don't know yet. I might take that one down, but I know that one. I was going from uh, uh, Charleston, West Virginia, all the way up to Rapid City, uh, South Dakota. The thing about that episode is, um, when I was editing it and I actually watched it, it kind of sounded like some of my old episodes, like some of the episodes I did when I first started, like where the truck was just way too loud and you couldn't hear my voice. So I don't know if that one's going to come out. And plus it's kind of long too. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll play that by ear. Um, if you see it, then be like, yeah, he went ahead and released it. Or, you know, if you don't see that one and see this one, then, you know, I kind of scrapped that one. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get our trip started. Let me cut this on right here. Now, like I said, I hope you can hear my voice. Like, I hope that the truck engine is not overpowering my voice like it did on that episode I just told you about. So, and plus, if you've been doing this for a while, you already know what this truck looks like. But I'll go ahead and show you what I got in here, you know. You, know, you got your radio, you got the CB right there, you know, I got my GPS and I got my camera. You no. Know. My bag with my clothes in it sitting in the passenger seat because, well, there ain't no room back there. I mean, look at that right there. If I had to sleep in that in real life, man, I'd be, I'd been freaked out because I, I, I don't know. It's just too small. Because if you, you seen the outside, you notice I got a flat top, a turbo wing on it. So, like, I can't even, couldn't even stand up in that. I don't know, though. I might could sleep back there, though. I, I might would be all right. I don't know. But this mod right here, um, I'm going to make sure 
I remember to put the link in the description, but uh, when I found it, it said it was updated to 143, and it's, it's been it's a pretty good mod, you know. It's nice and smooth. It's, you know, it's pretty good, you know. And as you guys know, I mean, I know I had the Peterbilt the last couple episodes. I just, I wasn't feeling it for some reason. I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling the Peterbilt. So, let's go ahead and uh, look at our plan here. See, we got some canned food. So, I'm guessing they, you know, some canned food, some, you know, imports. And they are going to Owensburg, Kentucky to Walmart. I'm not sure if it's the warehouse or the store. We'll know when we get there. It's expected uh, Friday between 1.21 p.m. and Friday 8.01 p.m. So, that's a pretty good window right there. I like that window. I'm um, soon I am going to be putting back in the realistic uh oh the realistic economy mod so I mean to me it just made it more challenging you know if, if you've seen me play these games you know I like a challenge you know so um let me see here I think that's it um so our next rest air rest stop is in eight hours and let's see it's thursday and i gotta have it there between one and eight so i'm trying to think yes i have enough time to sleep because i've been doing a, like a lot of night runs it seems like seems like anytime i record like it just goes straight to nighttime so i want to run during the day so now we're going to do some trip planning and we're going to find somewhere to sleep here let me see here what we got Let's see here. We might run in the dark for a little bit because, well, where I'm at, there's nowhere to sleep. So, um, the only thing I can think of is to do it when you get up here closer to Asheville. And there's a little gas station and stuff right there. So, I think that's where we're going to sleep at. So let's go ahead and mark that down. That's about two hours away. Okay. All right. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and get on the road. Now, the one thing I wish I could do is, when you know, when I'm recording is turn my radio on. Because like I said, you know, I try to give it, you guys like a mixture of, of like commentary and then I, I try to give you a mixture of the truck sounds and, and all that stuff. So I try to make everybody happy. I just wish I could play my radio. But unfortunately, you know, you can't really do that, you know. You know, you might get flagged and stuff like that. So I'm I'm thinking of I'm thinking of something different that I could use for that. So I'm gonna be working on that right there too. Um for sure i mean i can't like play like mainstream artists and stuff at least i don't think i can um i haven't really i mean like let's say if i had to pay for it i would actually pay for it just to do it but i don't think there's no way i could do that without youtube flagging me so yeah because when i play when i'm not recording you know i'm i'm i do it just like i do it in real life had a radio blasting that's just how i do it but, you know, unfortunately, I can't do that right now. But like I said, uh, there's a way around that, like I said. So I'm going to try to be working on something, you know, just to give a look, a little background noise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait a minute. That ain't what I wanted. I hit the wrong button. Hold on. There we go. Get my mirror back up there so I don't hit that pole back here. So the same person that did this truck, they also did my Freightliner Columbia. From the same person, as you can tell, by the sun hitting the windshield. I mean, it is a neat touch, but and I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a very neat touch. But I, don't, I think we need all that. Like I said, you know, I can, we don't have sunglasses, so we can't really. Yeah, we can't really like put sunglasses on. Like if I put sunglasses on right now, 
just because that sun is too bright, too bright blocking the windshield, you know, it, it, it wouldn't make a difference. I don't think it would, at least. You know, plus I'm, I'll be sitting here in my office looking stupid, wearing sunglasses. But I mean, it's not really that bad though. It's just the glare of the sun. But the truck is it's the truck is pretty good, you know, it's smooth like the Columbia I was driving. Um, as you if you didn't notice I don't have my decals on there because like I said I you know I don't know where to get a template for this truck. Cause that's how I do my decals through a template. I'm pretty sure it's another way you could do I can put my decals on there. But you know, the easiest way is to find a template of the truck. So and I'm not I'm not sure if the truck is like UV mapped. Cause I know if it's if it's not UV mapped, you can't really make a template for it. And from what I understand, it's a tedious process making a UV map for it, so. Oh no, I do some more investigating into that too. Am I going to have to stop on the train tracks? I believe I am. Yep. See, in real life, that'd be a no-no, having to stop on the train tracks. See? Right there. And I think I mentioned that before in an episode where I stopped on the train. I mean, look at that. I'm right there on the train tracks. Like, that's, that can't be safe. At all. Because in real life, I would have ran that red light. I ain't... Plus, I don't, most of the time, like in real life, if it's a stop like that, they had the stoplight behind the train tracks. Then you stop there, there'd be that, that stoplight right there in front of us. Then there'll be another one behind the train tracks. You know, for trucks to stop at, because, you know, a car could fit in here. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not a risk taker. I don't like sitting on the train tracks. When I'm sitting there waiting for a train to come through, I'm not even pulled up all the way up to the, uh, you know, when they let, when you're crossing the road and they let the gate down so the train can go through so you can stop, I don't even sit all the way up there. And I'm going to tell you why. I sit back a little bit uh, from the gate because you got to think about it. What if that train derails? Right? You sitting there waiting for the train to pass all of a sudden it derails. And then it's coming right towards you. What you gonna do? You think you're gonna have time to hop out your vehicle before it, before your V, you know, before it gets caught up in all that mess from it derailing? No. So I sit back a little bit. That way, if it derails, I might have a chance of getting out and running away from it a little bit. I don't know. I just think like it. Like, no. The thing is, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know. You, you know, most people don't think about that. They just pull on up to the. You know, to the gate, as the gate closes, they don't think about the train might derail or anything like that, you know. You don't think about that, you know, the person that might have worked on the train that day to stop it from derailing, he might have been having a bad day, you know. He might he might have caught his wife cheating on him or something like that and pissed him off and he wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. It happens. All I'm saying is you just got to watch out for certain stuff, you know what I'm saying, just don't overthink stuff like think like that all the time just kind of keep it in the back of your mind okay let me stand back a little bit and guys I am still using the project mid-atlantic doing pretty good i wanted to start off in roanoke so i could show you guys like how roanoke how it changed roanoke like the design of it i don't know maybe we can do that next time you know i figured since i was already in charlotte might as well just continue it because like i said um there's an episode coming out next week before this one it's supposed to be starting out in rapid city South Dakota, but I don't know if I'm going to post that one. 
So, if I don't post that one, then this one will come out next week. You feel what I'm saying? still use the uh, frosty mod tube it's just that uh, well right now there's no need for it you know we're in the south right now because lately it ain't really been all that cold so but somebody was telling oh it ain't Ain't all that cold and all that stuff. I'm like, well, here's the thing. <laughs> January is coming up. January and February, those are the coldest months. So, so get ready, cause it's coming. Honestly, I believe February is a whole lot colder than January. See how the glare of the sun does? So, yeah, I mean, you know, I can't put on sunglasses to block. I mean, it's not really bothering me. It's just, I don't know. Look at that sunset right there. It's a pretty sunset back there. One thing about this truck is uh, the lights are a little too bright. See how bright my lights are? I don't think I got them on. Oh, I had them on high. No wonder. No wonder they were bright. I had them on high. But uh, when I first used this truck, like the lights were like really bright. I was just like, damn. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go back to something I said before, like pre-recording these episodes. Actually, I'm actually recording this right here, New Year's Eve. This is when this one's getting recorded. So, like I said, it should be out two weeks from now or a week from now. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that other episode up. We'll see. Yeah, you see how bright the lights are now. But it seems like it only does it like at sunset, like the lights will be really bright in there, even out. And another thing about this uh, truck mod is. Uh, depending on the load you're carrying, you do have to use your high and low gears. I know I haven't uh, used them right now. Because generally, you want to keep your RPMs up. And I really, like I said, I, I haven't used them. Um, see, there they go. There go the lights even in there. But you know, I'm carrying a whole truck full of soup, so... Yeah, I forgot you do have to use them. I just noticed that when my RPM seemed like they were a little low. I keep in mind this is an older truck, so. But the listen to the listen to the Jake brakes. The Jake brakes sound good. Look, let's go. State 26. Yeah, 
I see the lights are a little bright. You see how I switched it up into six to sixteen? Yeah, you have to use that high and low button on some loads. Because I'm driving at 18 speed and I normally don't use it. Even in real life, if I don't need to use it, I won't. Because I've been doing it for so long, I can, you know, skipping gears is a normal thing to me. It's just too many gears for me, so I, I like to skip them. And look like we're having a hard time passing that tanker right there. Are we going to pass him? Oh, we ain't gonna, I don't think we're going to pass him, y'all. He coming right back. He coming back. We must be going up a hill. Well, we got to pass him because we got to... We get, we're getting ready to get off up here. Okay, well. It, that happens sometimes. But he need to go on so I can get over. I love that Jake breaks on his truck. Then another thing about this truck right here, it seems like it's got more of a realistic uh, fuel usage. Up, 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 pulled right in the grass back here. Yeah, we don't need the Jake brakes right now. Jake brakes are so strong on this thing, you have to turn them off. Pulling at this loves over here. Okay, uh, we didn't get the... Uh, 
Okay, so I guess that one ain't working. See, let's pull it in front. Let's see if it works. No. Huh. Where, where's the... Do I have to pull right at the bed symbol? Let's try that. There you go. Okay. All right, guys. So it's time to go to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So we are back. I'm well rested now. Now we are ready to finish the trip out. It's 8:24 a.m. Oh, that's good. Good. Good time. Go ahead and head on out. The uh, we got fuel. We got plenty of fuel. Get the trip done. How do I get out of here, though? Oh, do I just go back out the way I came in? Oh, I thought I went out there. Okay. I uh, know I was supposed to go around, but no. But well, that's all right. We'll just go out this way. Well, there's a stop sign there anyway. I guess I was supposed to go around and come out right here. Might want to put it in a lower gear before we get going. Oh, wow. Damn, I didn't expect all that. It need to be a stop sign here. Wait a minute, why are we going back this way? Ain't that going to put us going through town? Nah, man, let's go back this way. I don't want to go this way. Nah, I don't want to go through town. Oh, it's going to be harder to get out the other way, though. I knew it was something coming. I knew it was a bus or something coming. Is he going to? Uh, but dude, damn. All right, Ambulance, your lights ain't on. You can wait. I almost had forgot that it rerouted us through town when I set the marker to get off right here. You know, when I set the marker so I could go to sleep there. I almost forgot. Oh, no, no, man. Um, Y'all already know if I can avoid town, I will. Tanker's rolling, damn.
Cut my cheeks back on. Alright, come on little car, because I'm going to have to get over here soon. Looks like we got some scales coming up here. Ah, oh, What is he doing? Even got an easy pass in the window and still. But I'm wondering, is that for like tow booths or scales? Cause normally easy pass will work for either one. Sometimes they don't, but. But then again, you know, even if you got an easy pass, if you are close to 80,000 pounds, they will pull you in. That's been my experience. Oh, I'm like 82.91. So see right there, I should have been getting a ticket. I should have been getting a ticket right there. Cause they rolling today. Damn, I couldn't even get out there. What's that say? Ashman, Greensboro, Tennessee. Oh, we got a tunnel. Okay, now see that speed limit sign looked right. You know what I'm saying? Like 65 for cars and 55 for trucks. And it's programmed into the game too, so. Okay, well then I guess I gotta slow down then. I remember I said something about that on one episode. I was like, well it's supposed to be, in Tennessee it's supposed to be like 55 for trucks and. Yeah, I remember I said something about, see, now it's right, okay. too low on that one. You ready to blow it up? Ready to blow the engine up? I went a little too low. What's going on? Oh, police got somebody over there.
nice scenery of Knoxville. Home Depot is like blocking lane right now. Chester's, Chester's chicken. I don't really like Chester's chicken that well. I mean, last time I had some, I picked some up at a truck stop. This was a long time ago. This is back when I was over the road. Picked that Chester's chicken up, man. It was dry. A little too dry for my taste, man. I do remember one time though, man, I was, I didn't have no money. So I called back home, somebody sent me some money. But the thing is though, right, I was leaving, uh, I, think, I think the city's called Lampeter, Lampeter, Pennsylvania. And I was headed to Kansas. But here's the thing. At the time we couldn't find no Western Union in between where I was coming, where I was at in Pennsylvania and Columbus, Ohio. So I had to go three hours to Columbus because I had to go past Columbus anyway because where I was coming from to get out to Kansas. So I had to wait. I remember I stopped at truck stop and got the money. Now Chester was actually good that day because I was hungry and thirsty. That dry chicken was good that day.
But the only place I've seen it at, uh, I don't know if they have like a restaurant for it or anything like that. I just like seen it at uh, at truck stops. Chester's Chicken. We got a scale, got a scale. Oh, it let me pass. Okay. Kentucky. And we showed we got a lot of turnoffs. Y'all thought I was gonna hit that car, didn't you? Uh huh. I seen the look on y'all's faces. Thought I was gonna hit that car.
Owensburg. I see it right there. All right, uh, looks like it's going to the store. Okay. Must be having a sale or something. All right, let's see where do you need it. And of course you need it way back there. Okay. Because this is the smallest Walmart ever. All right, let me see how I'm going to do this. This must be one of them old Walmarts. They need to upgrade a little bit. I should have known I wasn't going to make that. not what I wanted to do definitely not what I wanted it to do so I'm gonna have to come all the way up because the trailer ain't turning fast enough let's turn that off turn them Jake brakes off we don't need them right now things are strong
All right, let me lean my head out the window here. All right, and they'll take it right there. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a great day.